Continuing now with our special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from Fort Polk. That's not wildfire you see burning behind me. It's what's known as a prescribed burn, a fire intentionally set by the environmental staff here at Fort Polk to help this forest. Within Fort Polk and the Kasachi National Forest is one of the few remaining longleaf pine forests. At one time, longleaf pine forests spanned more than 70 million acres from Virginia all the way to East Texas. Today, only about 2 million acres remain. Fort Polk's forestry staff uses such tools as this gun to set fires to the underbrush in longleaf pine forests. They burn about 25,000 acres on Army-owned lands here every year. One of the main reasons these foresters set these fires is to keep the ground clear for training so that soldiers can see what's going on in the forest around them while on exercises. Another reason is because burning the ground cover is good for the forest and allows 93 different species of plants to thrive here. Yeah, it, it's very <laughs> helpful for uh, biodiversity, you know, because you, you get a, a, a lot of variety of, of grass species. It, it helps wildlife, uh, deer benefit, um, game species benefit. It's just, uh, in, in training, most of all training benefits from, from our control burns. Biologists at Fort Polk also say these prescribed burns help the endangered bird we told you about earlier, the red cockaded woodpecker.